Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Vaults tutorial, and today, I'm not too sure whether I've gone over this before, but it's how to set up hydrogen generators to power your 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 world, and specifically on a, a multiplayer faction server like this one. So, I'm just going to teleport over to my base, I've got my mini map off, so you can't come and raid me, so I've just got to type in dash home base, there we go, and basically, Hydrogen generators are quite efficient for what you're using for, and oh, 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 there I am. Right. So this is our base here. I don't know why my set homes over here in between now for instance. But we've got our ME system here, and we have at the back of the room here our hydrogen gens, and these are actually producing quite a lot of power. Oh, we've got a third energy cube that you can see. I think Ellis must have done some more for that. And so basically, we're going to head all the way down to the bottom here because this is where I need to set up another hydrogen gem. So I'm not doing this out of no need. I do need it very much, another hydrogen generator. So, in fact, actually, I'm going to set it up this side. Okay, so let's dig out a little area. It doesn't need to be too big. So I'm going to show you how to set up a fully functioning and self-sustaining hydrogen gem that doesn't need you to put water into it or anything. Um, so yeah, should be alright. It should, shouldn't take too long either. Let's just set up our little room. There we go. So first thing that you're going to want to do is dig yourself a little room and make a little bit of water like that. Then get your water buckets. Obviously you're going to need water buckets. And make that into that and then I'll just collect some more water afterwards. Okay, so now you've got that. You're just going to grab yourself an electric pump, make yourself an electric pump, craft a recipe for that's not too bad, it's alright. Put the electric pump down. Simple. Right. Then you're going to want to get your electrolytic separator, like this. Put that down like here. Then put down hydrogen gen next to it. I think the electric, that thing already had some hydrogen in it, so that's just going to generate a little bit of power. So, ignore that. That won't happen because yours won't have hydrogen in it. Then you're going to want to get some mechanical pipe, is the next thing that you're going to want to do. And connect the electric pump with the electrolytic separator. One thing that you are going to do is this is on this starts on an X. You're going to click it so it goes onto an O, because an O is what you want. Then the hydrogen gen, you don't actually have to do anything to that. So now you're going to need to get yourself your universal cable again. Put one, or well not universal, that's, that's the wrong type, sorry. Then you're going to get universal cable, there we go. Then put down an energy cube on the end, like that. And then that's just going to offload all of its power into the energy cube. Then you're going to need to get the output of your energy cube connected up to whatever you're doing. But then you're also going to need to get the output of your energy cube going back. Oh, hang on. Should have made this room bigger to begin with, actually. Then you're going to need to get your cable to go to connect up with that and that. There we go. Hello. And then it doesn't actually have any power left in it, so let's go back over here. And then we will put. Oh, I right, back in one second. I've just got to grab one little piece of redstone. Right, so I've grabbed the redstone. Let's go back down to the bottom of this cave. I need to make this three high as well, actually, all the way down. And then we're just going to come over to the electric pump and click one in there. And then that's going to collect some water. It's going to pump it into the electrolytic separator. Ah, should have grabbed more than one piece of redstone. <laughs> oh, well, let's go grab some more. Get some more redstone. Redstone. Let's grab a whole leg. Thing. I think it's just just one more piece we need. Redstone is just like a little power source. You could just use a battery or something if you've got a battery. Battery works just fine. And there we go. Now that's going to generate power, and then that will keep going up. And then it, at the moment, this this will start filling up for you once you've got this set up. But because I'm using this sort of power to power this sort of thing, um. This is this uses a lot of power. It's a laser drill and it generates ores from the bottom of the world. 
set you on fire if you own it, it doesn't do any damage. I don't, don't know if it would do damage if I wasn't wearing power armor, but yeah. So that is how you set up a hydrogen generator and easy. And you can just hook this up to an ME system like we've got and yeah, it works. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.